Hello everyone, my name is Amit and in this video, we are going to learn Cramer's rule for two variables. Consider two equations, a1x plus b1y equal to c1 and a2x plus b2y equal to c2. Now, if you want to find the values of x and y, we can solve this using simultaneous equations or by Cramer's rule. In this video, we are going to learn Cramer's rule. Now, to find the value of x, x equal to dx by d and y equal to dy by d. Now, let us understand how to find the value of d. d equal to determinant of x coefficients that is a1 and a2 and y coefficients that is b1 and b2. Repeat, x coefficients and y coefficients. Now, let us try to understand how to find dx. dx equal to determinant of constants that is c1, c2 and coefficients of y that is b1, b2. For finding dy, dy equal to determinant of x coefficients that is a1, a2 and constants that is c1, c2. So, x equal to dx by d, we have found out dx and d which we substitute it here, y equal to dy by d which we have also found out, we substitute it in this equation. This is how we get the values of x and y using Cramer's rule. Now, let us try to understand with the help of an example. Let the two equations be 1x plus 2y equal to 3 and 4x plus 5y equal to 6. For finding x, x equal to dx by d and y equal to dy by d. Now, let us find out d. d equal to determinant of x coefficients that is 1 and 4 and y coefficients that is 2 and 5. dx equal to determinant of constants that is 3 and 6 and y coefficients that is 2 and 5. dy equal to determinant of x coefficients that is 1 and 4 and constants that is 3 and 6. So, the value of x equal to dx by d which is determinant of 3, 2, 6, 5 and determinant of 1, 2, 4, 5. Now, for solving the determinant of second order, we have created the video. The link has been provided in the description. You can refer to that video. On solving this determinants, we will get 3 upon minus 3 which is equal to minus 1. For getting the value of y, y equal to dy by d equal to determinant of 1, 3, 4, 6 and determinant of 1, 2, 4, 5. For solving this determinant of second order, you can refer to the link which is provided in the description which explains how to solve second order determinant. On solving this determinants, you get minus 6 upon minus 3 which is equal to 2. Hope you understood the concept. Thank you for watching this video.